If you are wondering how to use headers and footers in Excel, you found the right video. I think it would be nice to have your company logo on the top of every page and even number the pages automatically. You want to know how to do this? Let's go! Excel could be annoying sometimes because there are many ways to do the same operation and I'm going to show you two of them here. So the first one which I don't like a lot is page layout. You click on this arrow and you go to header footer. You can select one of the presets if you have. So for example, this one will give you the page number for every page. This one will give you the page number out of the total and so on. So you can do the same thing for the footer. The only difference, it will just go at the bottom of your page. And if you want to really customize, click on custom header and you have three places to put your header. So you can put it on the left, in the middle or on the right. Now you can type something and click here to change the format. That's fine. Press cancel. The cool stuff are here. So you can add a page number, a number of pages. So that's the total number of pages. You can add the date, the time, the file pass, the file name, the sheet name, and even a picture. I'm not going to do anything here because we're going to see the second methodology. And that will be the same for those options. So hold your horses. Obviously, for footer, you have custom footer. It's the same menu, the same concept for the footer. So let's press cancel and cancel. And let's go to the second one, view page layout. Now I can breeze. Look at this. You can put your cursor and this is the left place, the middle and the right. You go down. Same for footer. So I can start adding a few things. If I click here, this is my menu header and footer. And those are the same options. So page number here, click on the second one. Total number of pages, click here. So three pages. We can add the date, press enter, add the time. And here if we click outside, we get the date and time. Now I can do the same for my footer. So click here and you can go and add the file name. For example, you click outside and you get it. Now let's do something fun. We're going to create page one out of three, two out of three, etc. I'm just going to do it at the bottom. So here I click header footer. I'm going to say page number. You get this code space of space number of pages and you click outside, you get one out of three. So you can combine the elements that you have up with your own text and create this effect. You can see two out of three and so on. Now let's add an image. I'm just going to delete this and go add a picture. You can add it from your computer or do a search. I'm just going to do a search. So here we go. Press enter. I have this image. I like it. Press insert. You click outside and disaster stuck. What happened here? My image is too big. So what do I do? Don't panic. Click on your image. And here you go to header footer format picture. If you keep the same aspect ratio, you can do 10% and automatically the width will be 10% of the original width. Click OK, click outside and now it looks very nice. Now what if I want to copy paste my headers or footers? I'm not going to repeat them. It's a waste of time. So what do I do? I have another sheet here and on this sheet I'm going to do the same view page layout, I go up, I have nothing. I come back, I'm going to press on control, select data 2, select data 3, and then keep control pressed and select the headers that you want to copy. For example, I want this one and I want this one. You can also select footer, same concept. And now just release control and click outside. You go to data 2, you get those two headers. Same for data 3. How do I remove the headers that I added? For example, I go to data two. Let's go to our first methodology page layout. Click and here you have header footer. You can just select none and there you go. You are fine. Press OK. You can see no more headers here. You will still have the headers. Now let me just copy the footers. I'm just going to press on control. Same methodology. We click here. And then we click outside, you will get the same footers there. The other thing that I want to show you, and this is really cool, very few people know it, 
is that here I have page 1 out of 3, 2 out of 3 and so on. And here the same. But what if I wanted to have this as 4 out of 9? Because I have 9 pages in total. What do I do in this case? Let me show you. You just click on data 1, then press Ctrl, select data 2, data 3, and then Ctrl P, and the magic happens. 1 out of 9, 2, 3, then you get the second Excel sheet, 4 out of 9, 5, 6, and then 7.